Here's how we're going to create choppy animations inside of Roblox Studio. In order to get started making our choppy animations inside of Roblox Studio, we need to go right over here to the Avatar tab. Now, everything that has to do with animation is going to be held inside the Avatar tab, unless, of course, you use a third-party animation editor, such as the Moon Animator. That is going to be inside the Plugins tab right over here. However, for the most case, if you're just using the normal animation editor, it's just going to be in this Avatar tab. Now, speaking of which, we need to go ahead and use the Rig Builder to actually insert a rig that we're going to be animating. So let's click on the Rig Builder. And when you click on the Rig Builder, you'll notice this window pop up on your screen. And we have the option to generate an R15 rig, which is a rig with 15 body parts. It'll typically have something like a hand and then a lower arm and then an upper arm, for example, or a foot, a lower leg, and an upper leg. It'll have a lower and an upper torso and a head. An R6 will only have a left arm, right arm, left leg, right leg, torso, and head. So it's only six body parts, which means that you won't have as much technical freedom to animate as you would with an R15 rig, simply because there's more joints, more body parts you can move around. So it really just depends on your animation style and whichever you would prefer. Of course, for the body shape, you can choose masculine or feminine. doesn't really matter all too much. And you can choose from an assortment of different avatars. However, the most common one that you're going to be using is the block avatar. So let's click on the block avatar and you'll see that we have this avatar right here. Now, the next thing we need to go ahead and do to create our choppy animations is we need to go over to this animation editor right over here. And then we need to hover over our rig. So you'll notice whenever you hover over a properly rigged character, there will be a blue, I guess, outline around this character that's how you know it's properly rigged and that it can be animatable if your rig or character does not have this blue outline around it whenever you hover over it then it cannot be animated and you probably need to rig it correctly instead so let's click on this blue rig and now we need to give it a name this is the animation name not the rig name so whatever you're going to be animating you can call it this whether this be a jump a punch a walk it doesn't really matter whatever you name it i'm personally going to name this to a wing flap because i'm going to be making a wing flapping animation to show you guys i'm going to click on create now if you don't know anything about animating i have a full ultimate guide to animating inside of roblox studio that you can watch right up here which i'd recommend doing it will cover everything you know about animation inside of roblox studio but for now i just want to show you guys how you can make your own choppy animations so we're going to start off with an animation here and i'm going to just start off by animating the arms a little bit just like this i'm going to move the keyframe over a little bit and let's move these down a little bit to about right here and then once again moving them all the way over to the middle here i'm going to put them down at the side of this rig and then from there, we can simply copy and paste certain keyframes in certain locations. I'm just going to make sure these are all spaced apart right. Then I can click this one, copy and paste it over here. All right. So let me put looping on by clicking on this button over here on the side. And this will toggle looping. And you can see I have my wing flapping animation. Now, I did just make this in about 30 seconds. So it's not going to be anything professional or profound. But it definitely is an animation of sorts. And that's what matters. Now, you'll notice that this isn't necessarily choppy. It doesn't have that frame-by-frame frame feel to it. And that's because Roblox automatically takes the frames in between your keyframes and will automatically animate it for you in a way. Where it will just take the location from this keyframe over to this keyframe, and it will fill in all the frames between that with your animation, as you can see here, which makes for a really smooth and linear animation. But that's not always what we want. In this case, we want a more choppy animation. So we need to go ahead and select all of our keyframes, right click, and go to the easing style, which we're going to change to constant. Now notice when we ever change to constant, it will no longer fill in the frames between our keyframes, and it will just go straight to the actual keyframe itself which will make for this choppy feel of our animation. And from there, you can publish your animation and use it inside of scripting however you would like to. However, there are a few other things you can do than just make choppy animations. If you also right click, you can change the easing style to any of the other easing styles that there are, such as cubic. Here you'll notice that 
that one didn't really load in that time. Let me try reselecting all these. But if I change it over to cubic, you'll notice it definitely has a much more interesting type of style to it. The same thing over with something like elastic. You'll notice it's definitely much more elastic. And if I change over to bounce, I can do bounce and so on and so forth. Linear is kind of the default one. And one thing that you need to know is that you don't need to put these different easing styles on every single keyframe. You can do it on just one keyframe if you'd like to. But this will make your animation look a little weird. This, as you can see, this will just kind of pause your animation right there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Let me just change all these back to constant real quick. So yeah, that's how we make choppy animations. That's how you can use the other easing styles as well. There's also something called easing direction, which can be in, out, or in, out. And this will change the way that your keyframes ease into the animation, or I should say your animation eases into the keyframes technically. So yeah, there's all sorts of cool stuff you can do with just by right-clicking on a keyframe. So I hope this helped you make some choppy animations or any other type of animation style that you can think of. And if it did help, please make sure you like, subscribe, and comment down below. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.